Hi everyone. Um, I'm actually outside, so you might hear some outdoor noises, but I wanted to make this quick video because I'm having several people have questions about the Excel demographics assignment. Um, first of all, this is the page where you go to um, for your assignment, right? So you click on the Excel assignment and it pulls up these instructions. So it tells you, here's the video instructions that were made previously. I've altered this to be shorter um, than it probably is in the video. Um, the video, I believe, is Dr. Crayhay talking. Um, that Because this was originally created by Dr. Crayhay. Um, so this is, um, you, you actually have your methods due this week as well. So this actually, this part actually just applies to students who take this in a regular 16-week um, course. But um, you use the same type of um, formulas that you used for the Excel assignment for calculating the mean, standard deviation, minimum, maximum, etc. Um, I have the first tab set up to calculate um, statistics for gen gender. And you'll only and then you'll need to calculate the um, statistics for the age and ethnicity. So I want you to use only Excel formulas, and um, I don't want you to just enter numbers. So the first step here is to download the assignment right here. So when you click download, it's going to download here, and you can pull it up and. I'm hoping you can see everything here. Here we go. I'll lower it. Okay, so when you download this assignment, you have these three tabs down here. Here's gender. So this actually gives you directions on how to do each of these little parts you know, and gives you kind of uh, um, like mini tutorial kind of. But here's the actual data. So you can figure out gender like what you need to know is how many people were male and how many were female and in this case we're gonna say um, typically and this is how it's typically labeled one is male right here and two is female okay so you're going to do the count um, count function down here or you can you can put it up, yeah, right here. You did. They counted, or we counted the number of people in the entire sample, right? So there's 200 people. Um, I don't need the mean or anything like that for this, really. What I need is this, male and female, right? So that's already done. It tells you exactly what is what. Um, and then here is class status. So this is class status. It gives you the key up here. tells you what, um, like freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Uh, other is five. That means um, some people might be just taking cor the course for, but they're not really um, in a degree program. Now, I'm not sure if any people here qualify for that, but and then you'll follow the directions and um, you'll end up with a nice little chart here. And then you don't need a chart here, but you're going to be doing the age you need. Um, N is going, should it come out to be what um, it was in the previous uh, tab. Minimum is going to be the minimum age, maximum, Maximum age, mean, um, would be the average age, and standard deviation. Obviously, we need that. Um, because in, in your methods section, when you talk about participants, you will need to say how many males and females there were, and the percentages of males and females. You'll need to talk about the class status, how many people were freshman, sophomore, junior, senior, and other. And if there weren't any other, you don't have to mention it. Um, and then for the age, you're going to have to talk about, or you're going to have to mention the average age, and you're going to have to mention the standard deviation. Whenever you report a mean of something, you need to report a standard deviation every time. Okay, so I know, um, 
I, I didn't think I, there would be as much trouble as there has been for this assignment, but um, if you have any any suggestions on what the problem was, like why why you may have had um, have been a little confused about it, please let me know what I need to clarify. Because um, I, I just I guess I just thought that having this document there for download would be would would work but um, I would really like to know what I need to fix so if you could let me know that would be fantastic okay you guys have a nice day and I hope this helped um, clarify this assignment a little bit more